We play and call it work. Hey there, Wargamers, Josh and Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com to bring you some Blood and Plunder. Today, I'm going to be playing a French Caribbean Militia Force versus Luca and the... I am the uh, Spanish Caribbean Militia. Uh, yo, yo soy Luca. <laughs> That's the the <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember. So we're gonna throw down. We got 120 point forces, and we are doing the breakthrough mission using the amphibious rules. So Luke has got a boat. Yeah, I do. I got a bark. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. A proper ship. I will admit that we both fought over the ship uh, quite extensively before the game started. Oh yeah. And uh, Luke managed to win that one. But uh, hey, I brought more guns than him. So without further ado, let's check out the forces, the board, and get to the game. We are playing at 120 points for today's game, so I'm at 118 points, and this is my Spanish Caribbean Militia. I have myself here one experienced commander that will be leading my force. I have brought three court choices for today's game. Oh, front, I have Miliciano, so you have to forgive me for any pronunciations. I am awful at Spanish. I tried to take it in grade nine for a semester. I passed, just barely. And I never took it again. Anyways, they are my main ranged unit. They will be on the boat shooting their muskets. Behind them, I have Lanceros, what I assume is Lancers. They have pointy sticks. They're gonna be jumping off of the boat and they are going to be stabbing Josh's units to death. Hopefully that works. Uh, one thing I did do uh, as an option with the Spanish Caribbean militia, I was able to upgrade all my core choices up one level. So my Lanceros are veterans from trained and my Milicianos are trained from inexperienced. And lastly, I brought one support choice, my Milicianos Indios. Uh, they are, they have bows. Uh, they are native auxiliary, I believe, in my Spanish force. We can't forget about the bark. This is the ship that I'm bringing for today's game. Uh, this scenario, I'm trying to essentially land on Josh's uh, territory and take it over. Uh, for this bark though, I did upgrade it to have a reinforced hull, so I will be benefiting from hard cover for my units inside of it. Now we're going to take a look at my French Caribbean Militia Force. We're going to go left to right for the units. Starting off with one of the core units, we have a four-man Buccaneers unit. So they are the good old Buccaneers. They are pretty heavily armed here. So Buccaneer guns, standard melee weapons, but they have the ball and shot, fast reload, elusive, and marksman special rules. Uh, super expensive uh, guys, but hopefully they are worth it. Uh, to the right of them, we have my Caribbean militia forces here. So for the French version of them, uh, I have upgraded them from an inexperienced to trained for one point per model. Uh, one thing to make note, we have buccaneer guns, standard melee weapons, plug bayonets, and they also have pistols as sidearms, so lots of shooting in this force. Moving over, we've got my experienced commander, brace of pistol, standard melee weapon. And then behind him, we have a six-man unit of flea bustiers. Uh, buccaneer guns, brace of pistols, standard melee weapons, they have the ball and shot, fast reload, and sailors special rules. So overall, quite a shooty force here to try to repel Luca and uh, keep him off my land. This is the board Luca and I are going to be playing on today. If it's not immediately obvious, uh, Luca is on the left hand side in the boat, and I'm on the right hand side uh, on the docks there. Starting off taking a look at the deployment for the French, I've got my militia up almost as far as I can. The idea is that they're going to hopefully move forward and take position on the dock there to shoot at you as you come in. And then behind them, we have the commander with the flea bustiers, and then the good old uh, boucaneers hiding over here, hopefully taking some pot shots. <laughs> Here's my bark! This is a good proper ship. Uh, this one has two decks, and the way that works is each deck can have up to two units on it. On the lower deck here, we have my Milicianos with the Milicianos in Dios. And on the upper deck, we have Lanceros, two units with a commander who will join that unit there on the left. Because why not? Let's talk about the scenario. This one is breakthrough. Pretty simple objective. I am trying to get my units within Josh's deployment zone, and he is trying to stop me from doing so. 
So Josh's deployment zone is 18 inches up from his board edge, and I am six inches up from my board edge over there. So if I don't have a unit completely within Josh's deployment zone, by the end of turn three, I have a strike against myself. Otherwise, Josh will have a strike against him. Other than that, though, we are trying to slaughter each other to gain further strike points against our opponents by losing, if you lose 25% of your army, you gain a strike point. So simple as that. Luke and I have drawn our cards. You have one more unit than me. I do. So I get my I get a hefty hand of four here. All right. And do you have you decided what the first card you're going to play is? Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll I go sure with has. This one. Okay, Boom. ready? Ready. One, two, three, flip. Boom. So you're going first. I am going first, I'm going but I'm only going to get one activation off of that. Great. One thing I forgot to note about my ship, uh, sails are set to full when the game starts, so I will be moving at full speed. Yeah. And we did randomly determine the win before the game start uh, started. And uh, I actually, attacker got to choose, and I'm going to go, boom, that way for the win. Mm. <laughs> mm. Did you not see the roll? Well, you, were, you were saying I off believe, camera, yeah. you didn't. I believe Thank you. you. Do you believe me, Steve? I believe. I actually Thank saw you. the roll. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. There, there we go. go, one witness. There we go. <laughs> yeah. To be pretty simple, the Buccaneers are uh, going to stand there. That's it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I guess I'm too far away to shoot at. Yeah. Their maximum range is 28 inches to always hit on 10s. Oh. So, First thing I'm going to do on this activation, we are going to have the boat. Actually, I don't know. I'm not going to go straight. I'm going to start turning. There we go. <laughs> and for all, all intents and purposes, I'm activating these lance arrows, but they're not doing anything. Yeah, that's fair. So the boat moves up. Woo! Back to get ready to flip cards here. Yep. So you can go first again. Yep. But again, not a whole lot of actions happening here. You gotta get closer. I'm trying. Again, I'm kind of waiting for Luca to get a little bit closer. So it's gonna be the flibustiers, uh, and they're just gonna stand there though. Right. They're waiting for you. Don't Come closer. Use, don't want to use your ammo. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be in range anyways. All right, Luca, it's all you, big guy. I'm not gonna move my boat. We are gonna have the lancers activate, and I'm gonna hold off. Why are you like this? <laughs> Come closer. And ready for the last card? Last card. Okay. Well, my last card. Yeah, I go first. All right. Come on close, Luca. Get in here, big guy. <laughs> we go in straight four inches. Good old sails. My Militianos Indio, uh, Indios are going to activate. And I, I don't get reload markers. I could measure to see afterwards. Because there's no pre-measure for shooting. Right. So, I mean, you can start. You can fire some ranging shots. Uh, but I'm not going to because that would kind of give you an idea of how close uh, I am to you. That's fair. All right. So activating with a heart, um, I did upgrade these guys to be a trained unit. So I'm just gonna move, move. Okay. Good. Four. He's gonna go another. Four. We're gonna start to grab some cover. Just moving up, just uh, trying to grab some cover here, and, you know, prepare for that boat to come on in. And Josh has no more units to activate, so I will go. I have a five of spades, and my last unit to activate are my Milicianos. So I'm gonna move the boat first as my last activation for this turn, and then probably fire them because I only have one activation or one action with that unit. Boat's coming up four. And then we are gonna crack some shots off at them. Why are you so unkind? Ooh, so this is the first measurement we've had of the game. So you're gonna measure from the closest part of the boat? Yep. So we are at... Ship, I guess. You should stop this is a ship. Boat. This is a ship. This is a boat. It's 11 inches away. We'll give the bark the uh, what it's deserved there. So it's gonna be negative two to hit. So it's gonna be six shots and uh, with the penalties you're hitting me on nines? Right, because of the range. Nines! We got a hit. Oh, there's a single 10 in there. And there's no ball and shot for these guys. I do owe you one save. Uh, I do have hard cover there because we've got the crates. They're full of something. Something, right. Something slowing the down. The barrels bullets. are full of grain. I guess it's uh, shot more than bullets. I guess so. Yeah. So my militia uh, normally have a shoot save of seven, so it's going to go to six. So looking for... That nope, one. That's the four. He Not gonna work. Shot to the face. And we will kill off. Uh... Danny goes. Being hit and taking a casualty means I owe you two fatigue tests now. Right. One for being hit, one for the casualty. So I get a resolve of six up. So show me six up. 
Nope. Oh no, double I'm fatigue. getting double fatigue. <laughs> uh, they really didn't like that. Nobody told them they were going to be shot at. Now, that's <laughs> not good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend one of my three fortune right. to re-roll and look for some six-ups. That's fair. Let's see. Uh, let's not see that awful roll again. Oh, yes! you're fine. Double pass. No fatigue. But I still killed one. That is that marks the end of the first turn here. So still got a couple more turns to fight. Uh, the first casualty of the game, that poor militiaman. <laughs> but uh, what you gonna do? Let's get ready for the second turn. Coming down to the nitty gritty here. Uh, we just started. Yeah, but you're both getting close. Maybe we just started. We just started. Nitty you shot at me. I shot once. All right, get your card ready. Okay. Yeah. yeah Quit yeah. talking. I want to go. <laughs> I want to go like like this. Oh jeez! Come on, Luca! Oh, geez. come on! Yeah, We're just yeah. getting started, Luca. Yeah. What's so tough? There we go. That. Oh, okay. You're gonna flip over. Yeah, the, well, whatever. Uh, I, I see you every Bam! Time. Oh, you're going slow. I'm going slow, but I'm getting lots of activations here. I don't like that. Start off with the boat moving the mandatory distance because this is the first activation. I've been roosted. Boom. <laughs> oh, that's the and what you? What unit's actually activating? Uh. uh I actually, what did I, what did I use, a heart? Was I a you fool? used a heart, like a fool. Are they inexperienced? Oh, they're trained, goodness, okay. So I will use my archers. Okay. My Indi Indios, my Miliciano Indios. I'm assuming they're firing at these poor men on the dock. Yeah, the, the poor men on the docks are gonna take arrows. Okay, Lucas, so what do we have going on? So my four Indios are going to fire their bows at your... Militia? Militia, right. Uh, now one thing with bows is I have, an, they're always plus one to hit. And okay. I am at, uh, I am 48 inches away, that's what I'm trying to say, so I, I have plus two to hit currently. Gotcha. On, they're normally hitting on sixes, so they're hitting on eights now. Gotcha. So you're looking for eights or better here? Eights are better. Bows! You got one. We have one. All right, so still not loving this, but I am in cover, so I have got the seven up save. Right. And then it's bows, so I go down to a six up save. And then the hardcover gets me down to a five up save? Yep. All right. Oh, you're good. Rolling eight, we're okay. But fatigue. I do owe you one fatigue here, and we're on resolve six. Oh. No, so they're gonna get one fatigue. And then what else have we got? So, because they are using bows, they can fire again at no cost of fatigue. Okay. But it's still two actions. Eight! <gasps> Three, yeah. oh no, you get an eight! Why, why are you gonna be like that? Uh, what was my save I'm looking for again? Five up? I believe it was five up. You're good. Rolling a six for okay. I owe you resolve. another fatigue. Come on! Get scared! Six up! Scared of bows! Yes! No. Scared of bows! Oh. You don't do it! So I got one less action. Action, eh? Uh, I don't like that. But that's okay. <sighs> Luckily, I took that reroll earlier. Right. So they're not in uh, terrible, terrible shape here. And I do believe it's over to my activation now. You're correct. I'm going to go ahead and activate my militia. Um, are they trained? They are trained. I did pay to upgrade them to trained. And since I used a club, I get three actions, minus ones, only two actions here. Yeah. But just to keep this nice and easy, uh, they're going to go ahead. They're going to use the fact that they have the drilled rule to shoot Ooh. as a, I think it's a standard action. As a dedicated Sorry, action. Sorry, dedicated action. And for every action you don't use, you get a, a plus, negative one bonus to this test. Correct. So taking my shots, plus one, uh, minus one because of the fact that I'm using drilled. Yeah. But then also because of the range. And you have to target, I assume you want to target the this deck here. I'm going to target the closest deck. Yeah, so that one yep. right down there. Shoot six. Woo! They have ball uh, and shot? They do not, luckily enough for you. Okay. Okay, so as per shooting at units and structures, as the ship is a structure, uh, you chose this deck level this, this to shoot at. lower one, correct. So when you're shooting at, you, you have to evenly distribute the amount of hits through the units on that level. So there's two units there, so two, both units have to take two hits. boop a -doo. And I am in cover for being in a structure, and I upgraded it to be hard cover on the bark. So I'll get plus one. Sorry, negative oh, my, one. Minus one. To yeah, to my shoot role. save. They have a shoot save of seven with my Militianos, so start with them. So, so it goes to six? So it goes to six. Six up! A one and an eight, so one does die. Uh, we'll take you. You go away. Boop. 
And then the Milicianos Indios, uh, they, oh, they had a shoot save of six. That goes to a five up. Oh, one of them dies as well. It's not bad. All right, now I have some fatigue tests to make. We'll start with my Milicianos. They got hit and they did uh, lose a casualty, so the resolve six. Oh, failing both. That is interesting. Um, I will use a fortune to reroll. I don't feel like having them run away. Okay, we double pass. Barely. Josh and I are both down to two fortune. My Milicianos Indios are going to try, and they're also resolve six. Oh, they double fail. Oh, I'll use a fortune and reroll that as well. I'll be okay with one fatigue, but not two. Oh, they're double failing again. All right, so I'm Woo! down to one fortune, and they're at fatigue. Uh, two levels of fatigue. Josh and I are going to flip. Boom. Spades. I'm going first. Okay. And I'm going to go with those Lanceros. And that is it. And they're not moving at all. Yep. I'm not moving the boat either. Buccaneer's going to go. Uh, they're going to put shots into the lower level of the boat there. All the right. ship. The bark. The ship. The bark. Let's see how far away it is. And at this range, it is plus four to hit. So they're hitting on tens. Yep. Let's see if I can get those tens. No. No. They're at two reload markers. My second action will be I will uh, reload. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of one of the reload markers, put them down to one. Okay, you ready? You ready? Do, 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 do. Ace of hearts. Oh, you go first. I do. Ace is low. I'm going to do the same thing. They're just going to pop some shots off at you. And what is their shoot value? Uh, their shoot value is seven. Oh, so they're probably just going to be hitting on ten. They're going to be looking for yeah. guns probably at this range. Because they have the muskets that always hit on tens as long as they're within 24 inches. And they were definitely like 18-ish away, it looks like. A buccaneer gun, so I think they're 20. Oh, they're actually buccaneer. I thought, they oh, they're both buccaneer guns. The whole thing is buccaneer Woo! guns, these guys. All right, here's a lot of shots. Tens? Yeah. No. No, I got a couple nines. That's a shame. Ooh. Second action will be a reload. Put them down at one reload marker. And then for this activation with my Ace of Hearts, I'll go with my Militianos. They are going to spend both of their actions just to reload twice. Yep. Get rid of both those markers. And then the boat will move. Yeah, straight four inches forward. Oh boy, he's getting close to that dock. Yep, not not too excited about that. Last activations, the other Lancers. Oh, other Lancers, they have nothing they need to do. Yeah, so just the boat moves? Yes, that's true. The boat does have to move, doesn't it? All right, I think I have to start kind of turning. And then I'll go forward three inches. I'm gonna get you. No. I'm gonna get you. And now we're getting danger close. We move on to the third turn here. We go to pull. Joker. A, a Jokero. We got a we got a little roll you're gonna have to make here to see what happens. Is this is a D10. D10 on the event table. Oh, la, 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 la. Two is confusion. Good. I'm glad. I hope that. Oh, I don't think I draw a card. I think we have to figure this one out. Means that Luca doesn't get to replace that card with uh, a fresh one from the deck. Because normally you pull a Joker, you're rolling the D10 chart, see what happens, and you get a fresh card. Right. But uh, no. no Your boys good. are a little confused. They don't know what's going on right Sorry, now. Sorry, it was an activation almost. Oh, I, literally. <laughs> After a solid five minutes of me just making upset noises, looking at my cards, <laughs> uh, we're ready to flip over. What's it going to be? Bam. King of Hearts. Versus the Seven of Hearts. I go first. You do. Well, here it goes. Book time. Start a turn here. I think I have to go like another inch. Actually, no. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna come into the dock. Oh. Uh, two, three, and then I'll. There you go. Oh, that's, that's an expert. Uh, that was a good docking. Steersmanship. And that was actually. I had no sailors, nothing. It was just perfect. So I'm gonna activate these lancers. Ah. I'll go with the one without the commander. Oh no. The ones with the commander? Yeah, the ones with the commander will jump out. So, it will be these Lanceros activating and they are going to climb out of the structure here at this point. I have to end up within three inches of it when I do jump out, but, oh jeez. That is definitely more than enough room. So we're jumping out of the boat. Get him. And we're doing a charge, initiating a fight. Now, no defensive fire for me because I already have two fatigue on me. Yes. With the red die there. And defensive fire kind of pushes another level of fatigue on you. And yep. you can't voluntarily ever go to three fatigue. Correct. So that's my commander with this guy now. All right. So you've charged into combat. I have. Uh, I am going to be getting, because they have the ruthless rule, a negative one to my fight, just because you have more fatigue than I do. Yes. So they fight on five. We're looking for fours. Four higher to hit me. We'll have three hits. No, that's not good. That's not good at all. 
my regular fight save is seven. It goes to Ooh. eight though because uh, lances yeah. are terrifying. Yeah, pikes. Step that. So Wait. I pass one, fail two. So you kill two guys. I do. Pull off my two casualties. And I think I owe you some tests. Gonna make the fatigue test here. Uh, I'm resolved six. Come on. Looking for six or higher. Don't fail one of these. I oh. didn't fail one. That makes you means you're shaking now. You gotta run away. All right, since I'm shaking, I'm not gonna opt to go prone because that would be terrible. Smart. We're just gonna move. Do a free move to try to get away from you here. Yep. You gotta move four inches away from the unit that caused you to be shaken. So we move over this way. We're gonna head this way. And then after you move, I do get a free move as well to follow up. So we'll go base to base again with these guys. You kind of drive me, drive me over this way, but yeah, I'll pull you back away from the rest of my forces. And we'll stop it there after that activation. So, I got a few pokes in. I'm happy with that. Go over here. The flea bustiers are going to be the unit to activate. They are going to reload. And the second action is going to shoot everything. Everything at the guys up front there. So you're going to target this deck. Yep. Over four, just over four inches. So it'll be plus one to hit here. Shoot six, goes to seven. We got two. Two hits, which will, again, split evenly between the two. One on the Milicianos and the other on the Milicianos Indios. We've also got the boss uh, firing his brace of pistols. He's got unlimited pistols. Looking for a ten. No. no. So the one hit on my Milicianos, they are in hard cover, so they're going to use their shoot save of seven, which will go to six. We're, we're good on them. And then my Indios... Five, I think they might fail. Nope, they uh, shoot save of six, plus one for being in hardcover for a five. They're surviving, but I do have fatigue tests to make for both of them. The resolve on my Militianos is six, so they're taking a fatigue, and my Indios, ooh, they're shaken now. Ooh, the Indios are shaken, and my Militianos have one fatigue, which is no effect as of right now. That's not ready, bam, diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds. Queen, queen beats diamonds, or queen beats eight. My Buccaneer is going to do the same thing. They're going to reload and then uh, unload. Fire everything. Yep. So it'll be plus two to hit because it's over eight inches. Looking for sevens. But still. Sevens, it's, we got a hit. I'm going to spend a fortune. No! Uh, we got two hits. There we go. Twice as good. So that's again one hit on both units. And we're both down to one fortune. My Militianos are looking for fives. Sorry, sixes on their shoot save. They pass. And my... Indios on a five. They're both okay, but again, another resolve check on both of them. So my Militianos, they're okay. And the Indios are not okay, they're at four. So they are getting pretty shaken, a lot of gunfire. If I get to six, they automatically run away. Or if you kill one more, they automatically run it's away. It's if you're double the amount you yes. got left. Or at seven, that's yeah. the rule. Correct. But yeah, that definitely run away before seven. I'm hard pressed. I don't know what the best thing to do here is. I could rally with the Indios, or I could choose to fire with my Militianos, and I could reload after firing. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fire with my Militianos, I think. I might be throwing my Indios away by doing this, but let's see if I can get any luck with firing. I'm gonna fire at them, because I know they're closer. <laughs> I'm only gonna, <laughs> and I'm only gonna get plus one to hit them. I'm gonna full volley everything. Yep. Looking for eights to hit. There we got two. That's a six. Sorry, that one's colored in. That's uh, maybe my fault from some time <laughs> in the past. Two saves I'm gonna have to make. Um, the flu boosties are save seven goes to six because of the hard cover. Oh, one goes down. Take the. Uh, you're taking too long to reload. You died. Resolve. Resolve five on them. Oh, they're fine. Eight and a ten. We're okay. Then as my next action, I will reload one of those markers. And we'll call them done. And lastly, boom, Ace of Spades. So I go first. Uh, the only unit you have left activated is them, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, okay, so I'm gonna go with these Lancers and the Commander. And because they're veterans, they get two actions. So they are jumping out there with their Commander. Uh, just two inches away though, because it was negative one to leave the ship and negative one for climbing over the edge, essentially. That's their first action. And as a second action, they will just move Woo! again. Ooh, we're getting danger close. Oh, oh here you. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, it's, you have to rally. It's a dedicated action and you're shaking. You have to. Yep. 
So <laughs> let's see, I'm looking for resolve six. Six is better. Uh, well, that's nothing. That's four, four, three. Oh, four. I don't want to spend my last fortune on this. I could spend the last fortune. I'm not going to because, well. You don't care about so, them that so much? What's your luck, boys? The guy, they're getting poked by Spaniards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Because <laughs> I'm worried about this happening over here soon. Yeah, they jumped out and they were looking for. Uh, no, I'm spending the fortune. Last, last fortune, fortune for a reroll. We're looking for sixes. Six two. We got two. So they're only at one fatigue now, which is nice. Boop. We got fresh, <sighs> we got fresh cards. Are you ready? <sighs> I hope no. That, I hope that card's fast. <laughs> okay, yeah, so fourth turn. Fourth turn. Oh, by the way, before we flip this, strike point against Josh. Yes. Yeah. Because you've got one unit completely within my deployment. Exactly. So that was the main objective of the game, breakthrough. I've broken through. Uh, now it comes down to killing each other, because uh, okay. there's no ships. Well, you can't hurt my ship. Anyways, drama time. Look at that. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? King yeah. of Spades. Yeah, there it is. There's the King of Spades. <laughs> the Spades. fastest card in the game. Woo! It's definitely going to go on these Lance Arrows. Yep. And they are going to uh, declare a charge against Brace the pistols. On the commander? Uh, on the mm. unit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That puts one fatigue on them for a defensive fire. The whole unit has a brace of pistols, that's scary. Yep. Oh. And we're within four inches, so only plus one to hit with your pistols. What are you hitting on normally? These guys are normally shoot six. So sevens. Sevens? Ugh. We got one, two, three hits. Yes. Oh, and I only have a nine up save because I'm not in cover. This is, I don't know how to get around these brace of pistols. Nine ups. We make one. Okay. We actually make one. So, but two, you kill two of my guys. That's not great. I have to take a fatigue test on three dice, or three fatigue tests. We'll say that guy dies off, <laughs> and of course his uh, brother as well die. Okay, here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, got a ten and an eight. So we have one fatigue. Yes, we're okay for now. And then after that, we move in and we do a fight, or we do a poke. I'm gonna put him right there. It's hard to balance on the uh, terrainify stuff. I'll put him right there. That's their fatigue. And we'll get ruthless, so we're looking for fives to hit. Oh, we got a nine and a four. So we have one hit. Fight save on them is seven. So it'll go to an eight, because I have a pike knight charged. A one is a fail. He was running. And then I have a standard melee weapon on my commander, who has a fight of five, because he's with the lancers. He hits. Um, just your normal fight save, I guess. Seven. Fair oh. Fair. Two resolve tests. Uh, resolve five. Six and a two. All right, so got one. Prude fatigue two. Right, so one correction we have to do. When you think about it, it doesn't change the grand scheme of the game. These Lancers, when they exited the ship, I exited right here, yes. counting this part of the structure. Uh, what I should have done is counted this part of the structure and moved them right here, and then moved them up four inches. Now, granted, that was last turn, and on this turn, I, I got to go first. Yep. So I would have moved them with their first move to about there, and then they have a second action this turn, which, which would bring them into bring them into combat anyway. So in the grand scheme of things, uh, you got a little too far last turn at the end of last turn. Right. And then at the beginning of this turn, you had two actions. So you could have moved and then charged. Right. Not a big deal. Uh, so everything then comes out in the wash, and we're going to kind of continue on from there. Exactly. So instead of just using one action, get in cost two. Yep, that makes sense. Now Luke is going to spend a command point and fight. Yep, but that also fatigues them. So right. now they are at two. Two fatigue. They're getting tired. Not liking what's happening. You're still not going to get the ruthless bonus. No. But you've got some swings here. Starting off with your lances. Five's to hit, though. Huh. Oh. Two and a three. There it is. Ah, last four. I got one fortune left. Might as well. You spend it on this? Yep. Two hits. And I don't count as charging anymore, so just sevens. Ten and a seven. Oh, they don't no. care. They don't care. Get oh, out of here, coward. Oh, no. I guess I probably should have attacked with my boss. He hits on a five. Ooh, that's just one more seven save. Okay. You lose somebody off that. So it will be two more resolve checks because of the hit and a wound. Yes. Ooh. Resolve five. Run away. Is that a one? That is a one. Is that, it looked, yeah, it's definitely a one. Yep. I shook them. Three. They got to run. Move back. Move back. Go away. Go away. Leave us alone. Are you going to follow us? Yes. I think okay. that is the best course of action. And I will follow up with a free move. Well, I'm going to go pistols in close combat. 
Yeah, against uh, my Lanceros. Because I need to. Fight seven. Okay. And you get to re-roll because these are sidearms, so this is a one This is a one-time shot. I got no time to reload them. Yeah. Oh, but we got oh, uh, ten, we got five hits. I got a fight save of seven with these lance arrows. So we're gonna make. Oh. Okay, I thought it was more. That's still three is really good. Yeah. So that'll take. A, I'll say these two in the back go away. And then I owe you a resolve, three times. Resolve five on my lance arrows. We'll take one fatigue. One fatigue on my lance arrows. Fatigue on my guys. Everyone's getting tired. Second action, I'm just gonna try to rally. All right, what's the result? Six. That's a four. All right. All right, Josh, let's throw our cards down. I'm going slow. You're going faster than me. Yep. Gonna go, I gotta do a rally. All righty. Resolve five. Yep. Okay, you get rid of two, you're down to one. Oop, down to one. And I will use a command point from the commander Whoa. to have his unit get a free action. And uh, we're gonna fight you. And I guess you have a brace of pistols on them. Oh boy, do I ever. Yay. Fight five. Rerolling fails. We have three hits. This is the end of my Lancers, that's for sure. Oh, only three. My fight save is seven on my Lancers. Making one. Two go down, leaving just the commander. Uh, but I think with their current, uh, what is that? Oh, fatigue? Yes. He runs away. And you, because you have nowhere close enough for him to jump in. Exactly. Oh, you're out of fortune anyway, I think. I have zero fortune. This is correct. Yes. Well, I guess, since you just blew those Lancers away, uh, we're going to have my Militianos. They have three actions. They're going to reload and fire at you. <laughs> now that you're out in the open with no cover. No. <laughs> I hit on nine. Come on, give me some hits. No! We got, got one. One hit. It's good enough for me. Uh, you have a nine-up save. Because no cover. Here's the nine or ten. You, <laughs> you wound me. You owe me a resolve, though. Give me a resolve. Uh, five. Oh, these guys suck. Yes, yeah, they're, they're good. Fine. With an so, eight. That's two reload tokens on them, and then I'll spend an action, the last action to reload. Put them down to one reload token. Cards. Boom. Queen of Spades. Second fastest card of the game. Yep. I'll go with the Lancers over there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. They have to fight. Oh, I don't get Ruthless against you either. What, I got two Lancers there? Get two. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Just hitting on fives. We got a hit. And you have a fight save of... Seven. All right. Once. You're good. There's yeah, me. no problem. You sold me a resolve. Uh, the resolve six. Perfect. There's six. Perfect. They didn't. I'll go ahead and try and rally my lance arrows there. No, they're also gonna fail that. Uh, we're gonna go for a reload on these boys, and then you know what? I'm just gonna put it back to two because they're gonna shoot two shots at the. Uh, oh, you're here. just gonna fire half a unit at who yep. am I? Oh, this that deck there. That deck, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's double check the range. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're still outside of eight, so plus two. Uh, so it goes to shoot seven. These guys are so good. We have a hit. Yes. Uh, I'm going to put that on my Militianos, because I don't want them running away. That's fair. Uh, do I put it on my Indios, or do I put it on my Militiano? If I put it on the Militiano, they have a six-up shoot save, I believe, in hardcover. But they could run away if I lose the guy. So I'm going to put it on my Militiano, I guess. Six-up shoot save. Oh, there's a six. But I stole your resolve. They are six. That's a fail. They're at two. They are uh, not doing so hot. I got one more card, but that's only worth one action point on my India, in, Indios, and uh, well, they so lose it. You have to rally. I don't have an action. They have. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just lose their action because they have more than two fatigue markers. And at the end of the turn, there, Josh has lost enough units to have two strikes against him. But I also have one strike against me. I'm one model off having two strikes against me. Awesome. So it's getting pretty close. Joker time. We've drawn fresh cards. I got a Joker. Boom. All right, roll that table. Rolling on the event table, I'm gonna get a two. two. Oh, we know what I, that is. I don't replace the card. Woo. Okay, confusion. Woo! All right, Josh, time. Nine of spades. I wanna go fast. Mm. Three diamonds. I go first. I go as fast. I get two actions with these guys, and they have to fight first. They hit on fives. We got a hit. And what's your fight save? Seven. Okay, let's not see that. Oh, we got him. We killed the man. You owe me two resolve checks. I do. Gotta get rid of them. Die, die. Resolve six. No! They're at three, eh? Ooh, they're shaking, they're running away again. Yep. What are they gonna do, Josh? Are they gonna run at the end of the dock and jump in the water? Like, what's going on? They're getting close to it. 
You're going right to the edge? Oh, Not wow. quite, but we're close. And I will follow up when I, when I can. Ending like that. That's, that's my action. Oh, well, actually, I have one more left. I'm going to try and rally. Huh. We do. Nice. That was because they're veterans, and I used a spade on them. You know what? These guys are just going to move up. Are they going back behind cover? Yeah. I pushed them out of there. That was kind of sad they are going back there. You're going to hop right back in, though. And are they going to reload? They might just shoot pistols at you. Oh, wow. So you're going to shoot your brace of pistols? Might as well. All right, and I assume you're targeting this? Yeah. So it's uh, over four inches, but less than eight, so it's going to be plus three in total for the range and the plus two for oh, pistols. Oh, wait a second. got to think now. Oh, um, you have to think. Looking for nines. Yep. Huh. None. That's a four. Right. Gonna spend my last command point to do a reload over here. Yep, they get to do an action out of sequence, and yes. they're within 12, so they're gonna go down to one reload marker. Card time, I'm going slow this turn. Oh. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh, just a straight Roll D10. Roll off up. high D10 picks. Seven. Yeah, two. two. Uh, I will take it. Okay. So that's three actions for someone who's trained. They're both trained, uh, but they're both gonna lose an action when they go. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Militianos, who are going to, they have two actions left. I could, f mm. uh. <laughs> We will reload and fire everything over there at your Villa Bastier. Yep. Yeah. My guys only hit on sevens though, up to eights because of the range. Yeah, we got two hits. Yep. Not too shabby. But you do have hard cover. Yep, so regularly it's a seven goes to a six up I need. Oh man. Six and a seven, go going, away! Going insane. Uh, All five? Ah, there we go. Hmm. So they go up to two at least. I get a little bit out of that. So they're gonna reload first action. Right. They're gonna shoot second action. And then reload again. The reload's gonna be the third action. Understood, so, so. four shots at my ship. And well, what are you hitting on base? Base, they're five. Uh, buccaneers are fives. Look for sevens for the range. <gasps> we got one, two, three hits. So I'll put, ugh. I'm gonna put two of those against my Militianos and one against the Indios. Okay. Militianos will be in hardcover with a six up shoot save. Failing one, so that will mean one dies. So it puts it down to a squad of four at least. And I owe you some resolve. Two resolve on sixes. Failing both. They're going to four. They're shaking. Uh, they have to immediately go prone. So they now immediately have to go prone, which is not great. But that means they're going to take less hits now in the future, I guess. My Militianos Indios have a five-up shoot save. Oh, they are going to fail that. <sighs> uh, they're gone. They run away. I can't reroll that. I got no commander. So even without rolling right. the resolve checks, you're still double the unit. So they're gone. So they route, they kind of go overboard and they run away. It's not good. I actually drew one card too many uh, because I forgot my you lancers were removed. Done. So, and then of course I just lost my Indio. So these are both gone. We're going to move on to the last turn of the game. Turn yes, six. Sir. Both of us have two strike points against us now. So it's pretty, it's pretty close yes. for all intents and purposes. And uh, I guess let's just go to the final round. We've got our cards. Josh has a Joker. Joker! Though. Bam! So rolling on the the table. The let's see another table. two. A six. That is weather change and wind change. Oh. Well, wind doesn't really matter at this point. Um, but we do get a whirl on the weather table. So D10 roll. We got a five. That is no change. Sure. Okay. All right. Clear sunny days. And then uh, off to playing cards. All right. I think I'm dead in the water. Anyway, Josh is having a hard time here. <laughs> All right, so I'll be going first with my 10 of spades. And of course, I will go with my veterans over here. I'm trying to kill models, essentially. Get as many kills as I can. So attacking with them, looking for fives to hit. Double double 10, not bad. Sevens to save. All right. Kills save. one more. Oh, they run though. Oh, maybe they run. Well, I might get lucky and they'll run. Two Take tests. tests. Fail one of these. Oh yeah, that's yep. a three. So that goes up to four. Oh, it only goes up to four. They're not running. What am I talking about? I, was, uh, I think I still have to fall back, though. Uh, I don't yeah. Know what happens you... when I can't fall back full distance? Oh yeah, I guess we should figure that out. All right, so you're gonna run to the edge of the docks. Yep. You're gonna please, fight for your life. Please. Oh. Please, sir. Now that I think about it, that's all I can really do. We have children. Uh. Well, I guess I'll go. You're gonna follow up. I might as well. Yeah, just for the thematic part. That's the last activation they have in this game, so they're not really doing much more than that. 
All right, so they will finish off there. Your go, Josh. Where are you going? We get two actions with a train unit. Yeah. So these guys are gonna go. We'll reload and we'll shoot some T again. Fire everything at me. So oh, firing at my Militiano. So get a negative three bonus because they're prone in there. Still looking for sevens to hit at this point. Yeah. Uh, we got one. Yep. Their shoot save of seven goes to a four up. They barely make it, only because they're prone. Resolve six, they were still hit. Oh, they're gonna fail that and go up to five markers. Woo wee! All right, my last act activation for this game, you get to go. So I get a free reload. Right. And then I'm gonna shoot again. So I'm not gonna bother changing the reload markers. He's gonna shoot with half the unit? Yep. So down to one, back up to two, we're gonna fire with half the unit, these two Buccaneer guns, I assume? Yep. Only minus one? Sorry, plus seven. one. Whoa. Uh, it's a five and a one. As they miss all around. And then, my activation. They have to rally and that is it. <laughs> Resolve six plus. We are gonna get rid of one of those. We're gonna go down to four. Oh boy, and that's it, I'm done. That's my sixth turn. And then these guys are gonna rally. Yep, on um, six. Woo! I actually rallied three of them, they're down to one. So they're not shaking anymore, but that's, that's all they can do. Folks, the game is over there. Now to ends at turn six. So that wasn't if we didn't make that one clear. It was right. a six turn game. Yeah. Uh, at this point, you check to see who has the least amount of strike points. We both have two. Yes. So it's a draw on that factor. But we go down to the amount of points killed. I killed forty eight points worth of units on Josh's end, and yes. he killed uh, seventy nine of mine. There we go. So the uh, the the the, the Indians running away. Yeah, yeah. The Indians running away. And my commander going down were huge factors there because that was like thirty five points. Yes. That was awful. Anyway, Josh. Thank you for beating me pretty badly, I want to, I feel. Uh, I don't know, that was pretty close back and forth. It was. Um, like, strike-wise and objective-wise, it wasn't bad. I didn't kill the ones that mattered, though. Right, I had some <laughs> really expensive units there. I was hoping the one time when they were out in the open and they made that 9-up, they made the 10-up. That would have yeah. been... That was kind of a big save, because that would have been another... Well, I mean, in the in the end, it would have been another six points killed there. It could, it, per yeah. Guy. But they could have ran, too, because they had enough to just run off the board. Yes. That could have been a potential I th thing. I think so. Yes, I'm pretty sure they were close enough to run away. And with the commander buried in there, yeah. Right. That would have been tons of points. But the dice dictated that in the open, they take a bullet to the face and they are fine. I imagine these... it, it's, it's the it's the very fancy uh, pants they were wearing. Yes. Or you know, I, I thought I was aiming at the head, but it was the the the, the yeah, hair. The, the, yep. The, the the wig that they wear kind of the, threw the me off. The lusciousness well. of the locks on these guys <laughs> to distract you. So, kind of looking at this, we I wouldn't call myself an experienced player by any means for no. one blunder, but we've played a couple games. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. This is a good system. I can get behind the system. It's one where it, it's a nice way to balance out shooting, and part of the setting is it allows shooting to be very fickle, right. but brutal if it works, and I, I really enjoy that. Uh, close combat's devastating as it should be. Yep, of course. Uh... You got a guy running up to you with a spear. He's gonna stick you, and you're gonna go down. But I'm a, I, I agree. I'm a huge fan of the reloading factor. It's one of those. Oh, his big guns are out of ammo, so I can charge him. There's that whole. Time to there's there's yeah, that whole factor. I like that a lot. Uh, other than the brace of pistols, which I couldn't get, they're terrifying. Brace of pistols is super duper scary if I get up close with them. I like to imagine that my lancers seen uh, seen you guys kneel over to go reload, and it was like a ruse. My lancers are like, oh, it's time to go, and then you guys just drop the guns and pull out their brace of pistols <laughs> and gun me down. That's exactly what probably happened. Uh, well, you know, that's the thing though. We you, we fought. Your commander led valiantly. You forced me to kind of run up the hill a little bit, and the lancers uh, went after me. Oh. And then uh, that didn't work out so well for no, me. No, they got gunned down pretty bad. You know, I I, I had the high ground, and uh, we all know what happens. Yeah, we all know what happens with the high <laughs> ground, I guess. This is definitely one, though, um, I think one of the other big things for me that I keep coming back to with this game system when I'm talking to folks about it is you get your land battles. Yep. Super fun. You get your amphibious battles. I really just want to buy some boats. You want to do the proper some sea full battle? on naval combat. Yeah, you got boarding, you got cannons, you got swivel guns, you have tons of guys on the boats jumping from boarding. You know, just It's this boat with more boats. That has really got me pretty jazzed in one. And a lot, of, a lot of the objectives in the game regarding strike points uh, refer to boats. So you every time a boat is sunk, that's a strike point against you. If, you're, yep. if your capital ship has certain sections on fire or destroyed, that's another strike point against you. 
So there's uh, the game is meant to be played with a lot of boats. Not a lot of boats, but it's uh, more focus on boats, well, I, I say. I think the thing is that it, it feels like the game full, feels full and complete without using any boats at all. Right. But it's, it's almost like it's got the built-in expansion of this whole other way that they've opened it up and this whole other way to play. So... I gotta go look and see what kind of ships they have. <laughs> they got a lot. I know. I've, I've seen I've Adam coming with the big ship. A bit and, Adam had a huge ship. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you have one of the galleons or one of the know. smaller ones, but one. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, closing thoughts. I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, one, the closest thing to a disadvantage of uh, covering these games here at Mini Wargaming is that I just end up buying them. <laughs> right. You, you find you find some gems and you just get right into it. Which, I mean, I've never been disappointed at getting into some of these different game systems, so... Uh, hopefully, I mean, if you're watching this video, um, you, you might be somewhat familiar with them. So hopefully, if you are familiar with Blood and Plunder, you enjoyed the video. If you're new to Blood and Plunder, hopefully this will get you interested enough to go watch the excellent How to Play videos on uh, Firelock Games' uh, website. Right. Or, sorry, their uh, YouTube channel, rather. And other than that, I hope you folks had half as much fun as I did playing. <laughs> Happy Wargaming, everyone. Happy Wargaming.